Hey, kia ora. Hello, I'm Brahms here coming to you live from Mesa in Arizona. I hope you've all had a super fantastic, sparkling, thankful Thursday. It has been an awesome, awesome day here. How was your thankful Thursday? What new things do you have to be thankful for today, to be grateful for? Have you been living the day in gratitude? I have had so much fun today. I spent, I started the day off with watching the, um, Oh, what was it called? Um, the Bible of Business, which I told you about, which is available on Amazon Prime, um, where they have just had little short little videos. I got the whole of chapter one done, which was three parts, sat down and watched it, and it was actually very interesting. Um, what did I learn from that? Well, because the first chapter was called What Makes an Entrepreneur. So they had the different people um, who all have Jewish backgrounds. Um, some of them have parents who were in um, the Holocaust, some have grandparents that were in the Holocaust, some had, there was one guy, um, um, Andy Newman, Adam Newman, who um, had been in four different high schools, four schools before that, but lived in 13 different places before he was 23. I thought, I can so relate to him because I went to nine different schools, only one high school though, but nine different schools and I've lived in 13 different towns and cities from one end of the country to the other in New Zealand. Um, so it was kind of interesting watching that and seeing the parallels, different religious um, upbringings, but you know, very similar power. So they turn around and say, you know, people can develop entrepreneurial skills as a result of their background and their roots. Um, while no two entrepreneurs are alike, most entrepreneurs are persistent, creative, courageous, good communicators, dedicated, and people that have the schutzpah. I don't know what schutzpah means, but I'm going to look it up. Um, and entrepreneur traits often start to shine during a first job or a first business venture. So I was thinking about what was the very first job I had. The very first job I had was um, a paper route. So that was my very first job. What was your very first job? Um, but it was very interesting listening to these different people and some of the people that they had talking, um, like I said, that Adam Newman, who was um, one of the co-founders of WeWorks, which is one of those um, office share spaces, um, they're... I think they're global. I know they're definitely nationwide here in the States. I think they're also global as well. Um, you had, um, who else was on there? Do, 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 do. I'm sorry, I'm going back through my notes. I should have done this before I got on here. <laughs> they had um, Diane Hessman, who is the founder of Common Space and CEO Startup Institute. They had um, Nia, what was Nia? She was uh, Nanny's by near. She's only 15 years old. Um, they had Kira Radinsky, who is a CTO and founder of Sales Predict Inc. Um, they had Danny Lub Lub Lubitsky, who is the founder of Kind Health Snacks and Peaceworks. So they had some really cool people and they had a whole bunch of other people as well. But they all had these different traits that they were talking about and where they thought they'd come from and how... Um, their upbringings had influenced their entrepreneurial state of mind. So I'm kind of curious to see um, what chapter two is going to be about. And chapter two is, and it was like, hang on, how many, probably about 20 minutes total of video time I watched between the three different videos they had for chapter three. Um, I mean, chapter one. Chapter two is all about, so you've got an idea, what do you do with it? So that's going to be a cool one to go watch. So I got, so I took some time in my morning while having breakfast to watch that. Um, and then I spent the day being completely creative. I got to, um, I had this idea that came in and then it was going and doing some background work on the idea and then coming up with different things within that, within the realm of that idea. Um, can't talk about it yet because it's still in the idea stage, but um, came up with an idea on things that could be something fun and creative for keeping in contact with your clients um, and something fun and creative you can have with your family as well. Um, so, um, and I got to do some designing too, which was kind of cool. Um, but I have pages, pages of stuff written out and I still haven't finished. Um, but it was, it's a really cool idea. The problem is, is that there's a lot of ideas in there and it's going to be narrowing it down to what we can and to what we, um, what we can, um, what we can do with those ideas. So it's going to be awesome once... Because, you know, you've got to start somewhere and just brain dump and all of that sort of stuff. And then from the brain dump, you pull out the, the little nuggets. So I've got pages of notes here from the create, creative ideas I had today. And now I've got to go, and I've still got creative stuff flowing. And then I'm going to go and start pulling out nuggets and, um, 
and acting on those nuggets. Um, even my idea book, my little you know, ideas, dreams and whatnot book that I keep handy with me, that got some stuff written into there today as well of major ideas and then I can go through later on and start putting the, putting the details in and all that sort of thing. So what are you grateful for today? I was grateful for the, the opportunity to be creative today, to let the creative juices flow. Um, sorry that my hair is blowing um, because it is, it is um, hot in here. It is the last day, according to the forecast, it is the last day we're going to be hitting triple digits here in Mesa. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 98, which is down from the 101 that it is today. So I have to go, I've got to get ready. I've got a um, call I have to be on in 35 minutes and um, I need to make sure I have something to eat before then because as soon as that call's finished, it's walking the dog time. So I hope you've all had a suit of fat, uh, <laughs> creative juice is getting in the way of communication here. <laughs> so let us know what you're grateful for today so we can, um, so we can count your blessings with you. So count your blessings from today. Let us know what you're most grateful for today. I'm grateful that tomorrow we're not going to be hitting triple digits. Yay. Um, and like I said, I'm off to have something to eat real quick before um, I have to get on my next call, and then after the ne that next call, I've got to take Zephy for her evening stroll. And who knows what we'll see in the sky tonight. Um, I was looking out for the meteorite things because they said that would happen just after sundown, but I don't know, I guess some of the partial clouds, cl and I was even Googling, you know, where are the best places to see this, and they didn't even say, you know, you had to be where you had to be to see this, these meteor showers that are supposedly taking place over the next few nights. Tomorrow, last night was supposed to be one of the... Um, best nights to view them or something, but I got to see Jupiter and, Jupiter and Saturn last night, so that was pretty cool. Um, I have an app, it's called Sky, Sky Guide, and you turn it on and you point the camera on your phone to different areas of the sky and it brings up all the stars and constellations, the satellites that are in orbit in that particular space. Um, you can even point it down at the ground and it shows you what's, what's in the sky you know, on the other side of the earth from where you're standing, uh, which is kind of cool because every now and again I'll put point the photo, the um, camera down at the ground to figure out where the Southern Cross is because it's one of my um, things when I'm down in the Southern Hemisphere. I want to go out on a nice clear starry night and clear night and just look up at the Southern Cross and, um, and the two little pointers down below the Southern Cross. Um, it's always been a constellation that I've absolutely loved. It's part of the New Zealand flag. The Australians have it on their flag as well. Um, they put the extra star in there that's actually on the cross so when you're actually looking at the southern cross it does have the four stars that create the cross but then if you look between um if you're looking at the cross on the right hand side between the short star and the long star at the bottom there is actually a fifth star there which the Australians have on their flag but the New Zealanders do not have on their flag um so there's a big difference between the two flags is that if you look at the southern cross and there's, an, and there's five stars on there then that's the Australian one and then the Australians also have that big star that's underneath the Union Jack too, which New Zealand don't have. Um, so there's the two main differences of the of the flags, but otherwise they basically look the same. Um, which I think their stars are different shapes too, if I remember correct. I think they've got more points on their stars. New Zealand have five point stars. I think they might have. I'm gonna go look at that. Huh. I can't remember how many points on the stars that they have in New Z in Australia. I know we have five points on the New Zealand star. But anyway, um, so yeah, so last night I was looking up in the sky for so this bright light and I thought, oh, I wonder which star that is. So I pull out my sky guide, point it up there and it says Jupiter and then it shows, and I go, oh, what's that one next to it? Because I could faintly see this, I could see this other dot there and I couldn't figure out what it was. So I had to look next to it and you can zoom in on the, on the star guide as well. And when I zoomed in, it said Saturn. And I was like, well, that's really cool. And I thought, well, I only have my iPhone. Hmm. And Brad's whippy do camera. I have Brad's whippy do camera with all the bells and whistles with me, but don't ask me how to use all the bells and whistles. All I know how to do is turn it on, make sure it's on auto, point and shoot. Um, I am going to learn the bells and whistles at some point. Just haven't figured out when yet. Maybe I'll do a YouTube course on that. Hmm. Might go do. Might go learn on YouTube. Um. But anyway, so I pulled out my my um iPhone and even with the street lights around here, try to dodge them. So I took them in different areas as we were walking last night, and um got the one that I ended up posting today so it was kind of cool um I was sort of like wow it actually turned out you can see there's Jupiter and there's Saturn so hope you enjoy those pictures and uh, and then that funny stone that we saw this morning oh my gosh that was funny we walk up to the dog park and I'm like what the heck said by the gate and looked down and went and just started laughing where it said oh poo <laughs> 
So if you haven't seen that picture, go check it out on the thing. If um, if you want, to, if you really want to laugh, if you really want a really want a good laugh, is if you go to Zephy's Great Adventures, which is a um, public group that we have for things that we post about Zephy on there. Um, a friend of mine, Kathy Baxter, she makes Zephy talk. Um, I don't know what app she uses. I don't care what app she uses. All I know is that she comes up with the funniest things for Zephy to say. And um, so she posted a new one yesterday, which I absolutely, absolutely loved that one. It was hilarious. I was cracking up laughing at, at it. But um, she's got this cute little voice for Zephy. And um, she's got some great little videos that she's put there in Zephy's group. So um, if you have a look at Zephy's Great Adventures, it is a public group. So you can go in there and have a look and see what's been posted. And look for any of the videos that have been posted by Kathy Baxter where she makes Zephy talk. Um, some of the comments that Zephy come out with are just like hilarious. Anyway, that's it from me. I've got to go have something quick to eat. Then get ready for this um, call I have to do tonight. So have a super fantastic sparkling rest of your thankful Thursday. Um, and we will catch you guys tomorrow for Fun Friday. Heck on it up.